everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and my project today is a gingerbread house. Um, it opens like this, and inside I have some Reese's Peanut Butter Santas, but this will uh, fit a lot of different things. The box measures three and a quarter by two and three quarters by two. Alrighty, and I did it kind of, um, I did a lot on it, but you really don't have to do this much. You could get away with just doing the front, <laughs> but I put stuff on all the sides. Um, but it was fun making, took me a while, but I figured it out. Um, I used the seasonal label dies for the doors, the windows, and the roof. I used the Christmas tree dies, of course, for the little Christmas trees. I used the layering circle dies for the sentiment. The sweet little stockings is the actual sentiment. And gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper for this. Alrighty. Now, you, there's certain things that I do that you don't have to do. You can simply make the box and put a few decorations on it. You do not have to do it as elaborately as I've done. Or you might not consider this elaborately. Um... But let me show you what we need. Okay, the first thing we need is a piece of real red that is 10 inches by 5 and 3 quarters. Alrighty. We need two of the large labels, this one right here, from seasonal label dies. One out of real red and one out of the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. Okay, again with the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper, we need two pieces that are two and a half by two and a quarter, and two pieces that are one and three quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, and all this will be on my blog. We need two of this long label here from layer, uh, seasonal label dies out of real red, and this we cut up for the doors and the windows. Okay, we need three circles from the layering circle dies. For the sentiment, we need one that is one and one eighth. For an old olive cardstock, we need one one and three eighths. This is basic white. And then the scallop that's just a little bit bigger out of real red. All right, and then you don't have to do this many trees because it's a lot to cut out. I used four big trees and four of the little trees, and these are from the Christmas tree dies. Alrighty. Okay, so let's get started with our cardstock. I'll get my Simply Scored. And we're going to start on the 10 inch side. Okay. We're going to score at 2 four and three quarters, six and three quarters, and nine and a half. And we're going to turn it a quarter turn to the five and three quarter side, and we're going to score at two and at four and a half. The actual body of the box is not very difficult at all. all right, I'm going to fold and burnish these. Okay, now, this is what we want to do. We have the skinny rectangle on the right-hand side and the inch and a quarter piece at the top. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. All we're going to do is get rid of this rectangle, wedge what's left of the skinny rectangles on this side here, and then we're going to keep the the um, larger pieces straight and then wedge the smaller pieces. Okay, so remember skinny rectangles on the right. We're going to go over to this square here and cut it straight to the first score line and then wedge a little bit off of each side. Okay, move over to the other side of this rectangle and cut it straight to the first score line. Move to the other side of this square, cut it up to the first score line, and then we're going to wedge a little bit 
off of each side of it. Okay, let me just straighten this out. Okay, go to the other side of this rectangle, cut it to the first score line, and then just wedge a little bit up into the skinny rectangle here and then go to the top and just take a little wedge off the top All right, and that's it for the body of the box now you could stop here and and just add the decorations you want after you put it together you don't have to do what I'm doing alright so let me just take a picture so I can put it on my blog okay now we need some tear and tape and we're going to put it on what's left of the skinny rectangle close to the score line. And then I'm going to take the backing off with my take your pick tool. Flip it over, flip the side with the tape, and then flip the other side to meet it. All right, now this is going to be your back, okay? So the sides are going to go in. And this is the back piece, this is the front piece. But what I want is for you to put at least one piece on the back. Excuse my head. And then two pieces on the front, on the back of the front flap. One close to the edge. And since it's, it doesn't, if you're, even if you're putting something light in here, it's so wide we don't want it to gap. So we'll put one a little farther back. All right, so let's do the front, the back one first. So just check where your seam is, and that one's your back. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm having a hard time today. There we go. Okay, just make sure to square up your box and just lay it down. You can flip it over and press the tabs onto that piece. Okay, and now we'll do the front one. Okay. All right, now this again just to make sure all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to push with our pointers and squeeze the box with our other two fingers we're not going to squeeze it too tight because it doesn't we don't have a, anything that flips over the top all right and then you can just reinforce them on the sides Sometimes it's harder than others. Okay, and that's the box. Now you could stop here and put your own decorations on it, maybe poke some holes in some ribbon. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this label here. I'm going to get my Simply Scored again. And I'm going to score the label. It's not exactly four inches long. So I'm going to score it at one and seven eighths. Let's see. Yeah, one and seven eighths. Yeah, one and seven eighths. Okay. Now one side is going to be a little bit longer than the other, but that's all right. I'll put the shorter one in the back. Okay, and there you have your label. All right, so the shorter one, the one that you see how there's a little bit of a lip, that's the one we want to attach to this back piece. Oops, this is the back, to the back top, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to put where it folds at the top. So to keep me from getting glue any lower, I'm just putting glue on the back of my box, okay? 
And then I'm just going to put the fold just above where the edge of that box is. And then, which I almost forgot, make sure that you're evening out the sides to hang over the seam on both sides. And you can even close your box and that makes it a little easier to get it right at the top there. Okay. All right. Now for the DSP for the top of the box. I cut another label out of the gingerbread and peppermint DSP. We have to cut them. Now this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Okay, I finished this entire box and my computer, my um, GoPro was off. I think I'm going to stop using GoPro. Um, okay. This was one of the worst projects for that to happen with all the little pieces, but I'm going to go through it. I didn't have a full sheet of this DS, this pattern left, so I'm not exactly sure where it cut off. But I started with a full piece, a full label, and I cut off each end. I cut it down to one and three quarter. So I put the top scallop here on one and three quarter and cut down each side alrighty and then I took an eighth inch off of each of the sides okay so it came down to two and three quarters total all right now I'm just gonna glue these on the roof Alrighty. Okay, I'm not sure if I got this either, but before we put the DSP on the bottom and the sides, I'm going to get these 5 8 inch Velcro dots, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it, we can't put it at the edge because that will be, the, that's kind of in the air there, so almost to the bottom here towards the score line. I'm going to put one side and then I'm going to put the other side with the adhesive facing me on top and then I'm going to close it and push on it. And I'm going to gently open it and really reinforce them. Okay. All right. Now for the sides, we need we need two pieces for the front and back that are two and a half by two and a quarter. And on the back one, you just have to slip it under the roof piece here. Okay. And the two side pieces are one and three quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, now for the door and the two doors and the windows we needed two of the larger long labels from layering from seasonal label dies I'm going to get my cutter and for the two doors I'm going to put this edge on let's see what it is doors doors one and three quarter okay and cut it straight off and then flip Flip it around and cut the other side to one and three quarter. I'm just going to put these on the front and the back. You don't have to, to decorate the front, the back, and the sides, the back and the sides if you don't want to. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right in the middle and flush with the bottom of the DSP. And for the windows, we're going to put it in and we're going to cut it at one inch off each side. Okay, and I'm going to put them in the middle of the sides. 
Okay. Now for the trees, and of course you do not have to do this because there's a lot of cutting here. Um, I cut out four of the mini trees and four of the large trees from the Christmas tree dies. And what I did is I just cut this long strip about even with some of the bits on the bottom of the tree. And I did that for all eight of them. Okay, and we're going to start with the little trees and I'm going to put, all right, I'm going to put two little ones next to each of the doors. Okay, and then I'm going to put the large ones next to the windows and they will kind of touch the side of the window a little bit. Now all that dries, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And we need our, I think this is one and one eighth. Yep, yeah, one and one eighth circle. All these circles are from the layering circle dies. And I'm going to use the Very Merry from Sweet Little Stockings design, uh, stamp set. And I'm going to use real red ink. I'm just going to pop it right in the middle of the circle. And then I'm going to take the oval, the uh, <laughs> scalloped circle that fits right above this olive, old olive circle that is one and three eighths. And I'm going to put them together with liquid glue. And then I'm going to put the sentiment on top of them. Okay. And then I'm going to get some dimensionals. Where's mine? There we are. And I'm going to put two on the back. I'm going to put it right in the middle. This is the front of the roof. And then I'm going to get some of the glittered organdy ribbon, the white, and I'm going to tie a bow. So I'm going to make my loop, and then I'm going to bring it over the back and make another loop in the back. And I'm just going to clip it off. And I'm going to get two blue dots, and I'll put them side by side on here on the back. I'm going to put it right here next to the sentiment on the top here. Okay. And now I don't know what I have left here. I don't have a lot of my dots left that I would normally that I used on the one I did when the camera was broken. Uh, but I used the matte decorative dots and I used a old olive one for the doorknob on both sides, but I only have one, so I'm just gonna put it on this side right now. And I used three of these little guys for the door, but I'm gonna have to use big ones. Oops. I'm going to put one up at the top and two on the sides. I did have the, the smaller ones on this one, see, at the end of my matte decorative dots. So I thought I had enough, Let's see, on the other side right there. Okay, and then I just put one on the top of the windows, and of course these were smaller on this one here. Alrighty. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. 
I've done it three times now, so I'm a pro at it. Um, if you have any questions, my contact information is below. You can purchase these products from Stampin' Up! through me. My address for my shop is below. And to join as a demonstrator, if you would like to join, there's a link. And all the measurements are on my blog, which is linked below. And I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.